and welcome to the DeWitt Drawing Review. I am DeWitt, and for this episode, I am spray painting a mural at Stanley's in Northeast Minneapolis. So my definition of drawing includes spray painting. So we're just gonna run with that. Uh, so I am doing four dog portraits at Stanley's in Northeast Minneapolis. About four years ago, I did this mural originally for them, and now I'm adding these four new dogs who are contest winners for a promotion they were doing. Uh, the Craft and Crew is the name of the company that owns Stanley's, and they have a couple other restaurants in town, and they're very dog-friendly patios. They have a separate dog menu, and they were running this promotion where they were counting the number of dogs they'd served, and when they hit a certain number, they were gonna draw some winners of their customers at each of the locations. And so this is the first in a series of four murals I'm doing this summer for the company. And I was adding on these four dog portraits to Stanley's into a mural I had already drawn. And if you notice, I did say drawn there because that's just how my brain works. When I'm using spray paint, I'm drawing, I'm not painting. This is the first uh, mural work I had done in a couple years. I mean, since uh, pre-pandemic times, uh, being back outside and painting on big surfaces uh, was a very good feeling to have. And just being amongst other people, um, strangers, uh, in a you know safe environment, everybody's outside. And uh, potentially I've got a few more murals this summer too that are shaping up. So I'm happy to say it's going to be a busy summer with a lot of painting where I get to go outside and wear my overalls which is my painting uniform. There are a lot of different methods for mural painting, and what I found works best for me is I just do a loose sketch and paint it up onto the wall. I don't do any gritting. I'm not very precise in my sketches because whatever I'm doing on a small piece of paper is not how it's gonna look when it's big up on a wall. So I do a lot of adjusting as I go just to see how it all fits. Uh, it changes a lot uh, the feel of an image it's when it, you know, there's a different scale. When it's smaller and I create it, it might look good, but when you put it giant on a wall, it's it'll look different, and so I do a lot of adjusting as I go. I don't have a very strict plan when I go into doing any murals. It's a, it's a lot of winging it and just trusting in myself that I can pull it off in the end and it will look good, or at least, not terrible. I don't work exclusively in spray paint when I do murals. It'll depend uh, entirely on the surface that I'm working on uh, or, the, or the scale of it. Like I did a giant mural at CHS Field a couple years ago and it was along the entire uh, tarmac wall in center field and so it was like 80 feet long and just to use brushes on something that big would have taken forever. Spray paint is a very fast medium so uh, I can cover a lot of area using it as opposed to a brush. This surface that I'm working on now is very rough. Uh, I wouldn't be able to use a brush on it. It would get chewed up into nothing in no time at all. So spray paint was the only option for painting on this wall. This dog was the hardest one to do on the mural because it was going up and down a ladder a lot. So I couldn't just step back to see what I was doing, which is the only way I can work on a mural is to be able to step back and see it because when you're working up close you can't really see what you're doing so it was go up spray a little get down the ladder go up spray a little get down the ladder so this dog takes a little bit longer than the others but uh, what I enjoyed about this video is just watching the clouds as they drift by I thought that was nice uh, and you can see that I wasn't pulling a pun earlier of my own it really is called the paw to um, but I'm a pun pro pun guy so just letting you know it wasn't mine I can't take credit for that one as I mentioned this is the first of four murals that I'm doing for the company this summer and I'm very excited to just have this opportunity to do a lot of painting on a big scale uh, kind of being trapped in our houses this last year uh, it feels especially good to make big colorful paintings uh, for a lot of people to enjoy while everyone's outside Here's a quick tour of the finished 
mural at Stanley's, so you get to see all of the existing dogs already. Uh, it was sponsored by Tito's. Tito's is also a very dog-friendly brand. Uh, thank you, Tito's, for your past support and probably future support on these murals, as well as a big thank you to Craft & Crew for this opportunity to put my stuff all over your walls. Uh, I'm glad it's being enjoyed. Now we're going to see the finished dogs. That's Lucky and Henry. Maisie, and finally, Mala. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back painting and drawing more things for future episodes of the DeWitt Drawing Review.